So it's never been more important for businesses both in the UK uh, and overseas businesses who might be thinking of setting up in the UK to have an understanding of the immigration rules and how they can move people to and from the UK. Firstly, we have uh, a recruitment squeeze, so it's fundamentally important for UK employers to be able to access the pool of talent from overseas. We've had all the changes brought about by Brexit uh, and fundamental changes about the way that stay in and entry to the UK is regulated for, for European nationals. And thirdly, we have uh, the crisis in Ukraine, which has led to a mass movement of people uh, to the UK, the vast majority of whom will have the right to work in the UK. And an awareness of the immigration rules is so fundamentally important because immigration law changes so frequently. And we are in the middle of another quite fundamental change for businesses because on April the 11th, uh, the Global Business Mobility Visa will be introduced. And what that will do is replace a number of categories with which businesses might be already familiar and have been working with over the last few years. Firstly, we have the um, Intracompany Transfer Visa category. That will be replaced. So the Intracompany Transfer uh, Visa was typically for those uh, companies w wishing to transfer personnel in from overseas branches of their uh, group into the UK. That will be replaced by the secondment worker and senior or specialist worker uh, categories. Sole representative visa, which is typically for those entities from overseas who don't have a footprint, who don't have an entity in the UK currently, they would typically send sole representatives, senior uh, individuals to the UK in order to open a branch or subsidiary. That category will also disappear um, and will be replaced by something called the UK Expansion Worker Visa. And thirdly, the Temporary Worker International Agreement category, which is for service suppliers coming to the UK in order to deliver a contract, so employed overseas and they'll remain employed overseas, that's going to be replaced by something called the Service Supplier Visa.